Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the 6 p.m. session. It is going to be the Meta Valorant 2021, officially on season one, proudly presented by Optus and Torrance University of Australia, guys. My name is Empress ZK, and I hope you're all having an absolute banger of a night. It is COVID time. There's lots of uh, lockout laws right now, but I do hope you're all safe, comfortable, and Select your enjoying agent. this because we are going to get a banger of a match. It is going to be Glenn Waverly Secondary College, aka the Eviction Notice Boys on Defense, attacking on uh, Hampton Park Secondary College, HPSC. So, HPSC, they are going to be on the attack first. And just have to say this, right? Right now, Eviction Notice, or aka Glenn Waverly, they are actually the top, um, one of the top teams coming in, uh, just following behind De La Salle as well. So this is going to be really, really good. And obviously, on a map, best of one on Ascent. On the defending side, Glenn Waverly Secondary College, they have Nevik, Verki, Banshee, Krupcha, and Prorota67. That's got to be a 9-9 call right there. So that's awesome to see. And on the attacking side, HPSC. You do have uh, Forbid Nature, Manager High Shot, one of my favorite guys right there, Happy Gold Bar and Triple Seven. So this is going to be very, very exciting to see how they're going to get all the setups done, what kind of you know strategies they're going to potentially bring in today. And if we're going to get a little bit of 9-9 call, because if that's going to be the case, I am already signing me up. Let's get this show on the road. Obviously, this is going to be on Ascent attacking side. They are going to be stacking towards a potential A long play. Uh, this can be just very one-sided, really fast. They have a Jet, they have Omen, Reyna, uh, Sova, and of course Sky. Lots of flashes, lots of uh, maneuverability when it comes to taking the point, getting the angle. And we will see here, Verki angling towards those hot hands. He is going to get... A lot of surprise coming his way. You already see it. He's already being blinded. Has already requested backup with Parati onto the side as well. Triple seven does think one straight down. Working through it onto the heaven. Does get traded. Two on spike both sides. The spike has been put down here. And now triple seven coming to recover this. Jumps up, waiting for this. Oh my god! That one little bit of a war is just gonna buy a little bit of time for Benji, but he is gonna get taken down and he's gonna go for it. Triple Seven is gonna grab those final kills, and that is a massive 4k in the beginning. Triple Seven carrying straight up, which also means that potentially, if he does the quick one, round two doesn't have to get too overly dicey. If he goes well, he has the early guns and gets his ultimate instantly attached into round three. Which means that's a lot of stopping power onto the uh, defense side. On the defense side here, they do need to think about it. Parota here, obviously. Marking the territory and potentially where to blind and where to explode. And on the side. Oh man, look at this. Glenn Waverly, they are going for the long con here. And High Shot comes in. Leads the way with a Sky Flash as well, which is awesome. Completely blinded from Garachi. Not really going to be getting anything on the side. Neveki trying to get some info for his team. But right now, they are just not getting anything. They are going to have 777 taken down. High Shot also goes down, but is this being traded back? Oh, Manager barely misses. Does get the dink in. Gets one kill. Happy Gold but also goes down. And for B Nature now, it's going to be a shootout. One on two. Can this guy hold? And here we go. Oh, he has been given away. Quickly gets that blind out here. Trying to make a desperate attempt. Go for it. And he's going to get it. And that's a really good news here. Which means that the wolves come out. Double check exactly where they are. Knows that the current bomb is not going to be diffused anytime yet. And this is going to be very interesting. Looking at this. A nice flash coming in. And that is going to be clutching coming from Forbid Nature. Clunking out this Verki. Trying to make a hopeless last attempt. And it's a good thing. Because Triple Seven. Now Triple Seven he get taken out a little bit early. Right. Which means that he doesn't have his ultimate up as well. Same as Forbid Nature. Who clutch in the end for his team. Which means that it's a little bit of pressure off from the beginning. Alright. And on the defense side. Right now, HP, uh, HPSC does put a little bit of check onto Glenn Waverly. Glenn Waverly does have the guns. The superior guns doesn't mean the superior um, ultimate. So, two away for Verki. And the rest is still very far. And here we go. They are going to go for one more. Straight up into a stack. A little bit of a play here. A little bit of info. And Peroda getting shot down. And the Wolves is going to come. Gets flashed. Does... Get all the info in triple seven. Already have it. Disables. Jumps up and here comes the all. Oh, instantly too easy. 
And that is a massive flawless coming out from HPSC on the attacking side. 3 to 0. This is the prediction I was talking about. If Triple Seven goes off in the beginning, gets the ultimate, it's going to pull a lot of threat back onto the defense side. So even though they have the superior guns, they were not able to get the superior play. And obviously, we all know how scary a jet is going to be when they dash in with that ultimate on Blaze Swarm. Okay, currently... For, Mitchell, for Beat Nature, does have her um, ultimate and Verki one away. Obviously, they do want to make a play, but this is going to be the eco round. And this is rather rough. Okay, here we go. They instantly want to make a play. The Wolves not really getting anything because of the walk. A little bit of clunk all around. But can they do it? Nivik is going to quickly swap all of this out. But Banshee here. Banshee with one Sheriff in a dream. Oh, doesn't get anything done. And the rest of this crew wants to make the play. Here's my flash. Does get it, but see in the face of three shooters. And that is just rough. Croucher not getting the angle they're looking for. But Nivik is going to get one back. The spike. The spike is down. But uh, yeah, no, that's just going to be it. The rest of this match is just going to swing straight into HVSC's favor. They are doing completely amazing. It is 4-0. That eco round was as much as you can hope for coming from such a deficit on Glen Waverly. So Glen Waverly, now they do have the guns back into play. They have everything that they need to get it. The question is, do they want to eventually save up for an operator and play? No, the question the current question is gonna be answered. They are all gonna buy Verki looking to get a carry straight up. But look at that this HBSC, they're just gonna keep stacking. All right, so we do have Empress by High Shot coming in, and once again, Verki. All right, he instantly comes up, flashes in, doesn't see anything just yet, but does get spotted, which is unfortunate. The rest of his team is just going to get cleaned up, and now Nivek sees this. Not really going to be able to do too much, but Corruption gets two from behind. Can he do anything else? Look at Happy Goba. Oh, Happy Goba! Finally see something, but everything is just going to be given to Forbidden Nature. And now it's just going to be Corruption, and that is just a shocking shock up. Straight to your feet. <laughs> you can't do anything about that, right? When you have such a low health, and you hit the shock up, you know someone's got you in their sights. So, very, very awesome work right there. Manager really putting the work in does have hunters call uh, Obviously if we're gonna get a nice scan there. It's just gonna be instant activation Especially in the eco round you want to minimize uh, your credit loss despite two members on 8500 and 8700 Respectively it is still gonna be a lot of economy that you can roll with me was on the side of Glen Waverly Glen Waverly man I bet they are so sick of all this stacking right here finally They're not gonna get the stack they're looking for but high shot's gonna claim that first one gonna go up against Verki and Verki does get the flash finally Shuts down triple seven, but he's gonna be traded by manager. Me once Crapshot does take that one right back. Ask go for the ult, but it's not gonna get the connection he's looking for for beat nature. He's gonna quickly rejoin his team. And now it is three on three situation. The eco round is working out to be Glen Waverly special right here. Uh, however, no one is really checking A just yet. You do have Happy Goba making a lot of noise. Doesn't even want to go for the cap because you know what? I am ready to play. It is 4 out of 7 for this one. This ultimate doesn't really work. It. Meanwhile, Nivek has I'm smelled this. He's going to go for the scan. I'm pretty sure that scan uh, is going to get info here. They are going to go for it. Ooh. Nivek very close. But High Shot gets that first one. And High Shot jumps up. Knows there's possibly one more. Does have two Leers away. Oh, Happy Goba gets one more. And oh my goodness, the potato come in. Nivek was a little bit under the pressure. He's not even going to get any shots in. This is definitely one-sided to HPSC currently. Looking at how composed they're executing the strategy with nothing but finesse and strategy. Right now, Glenn Waverly. Eviction notice. If they want to come back, they need to get a... Oh no, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh man, HPSC, I think they're all making a little bit of a play to the 777 right there. They say 777, do you mind? Look at him, he's already got 10 kills. Six rounds, his KDA is popping and he wants to get more. And look at this, this is one more stack. Remember, this is still a round. This is a round that they can still go with, but looking at this! <laughs> they are just going to activate, they're going to get everything. Manager also getting the kill right there. And now 777 on heaven. Perota in the smoke. Perota, can you 9-9 us right now? 
I shall get to the first one and Parata also goes down. And it's just gonna be Benshi. Benshi looking to get that first one. Still has ultimate, but it's one on three. Beast around it. Oh, triple. Let's go. Pulls out the pistol. Greg exchanges the gun. Then, no, for Bit Nature, he's gonna be the one to take her down. So, this is gonna be 7 0. Are we gonna go for a perfect round? Is that what the case is gonna be? HBSC, they are leading by 7. Glenn Webley is by no means a weak team. They are someone that really knows how to play this game. And of course, of course, take it out of the emote. <laughs> Look at that. They're just target practicing right now. Okay, looking at the current mm -hmm. guns, you do have the judge coming out with a um, marshal on the side with specters. All right, here we go. It is a five man stack right here. Uh, it is a little bit unfortunate because the Sage and Brookie is here. They need to be careful right now. It is going to be a resurrection that's just going to be instantly taken out. They are not careful about the way this is going to be played. All right, Peralta is going to get one, but it's traded around. Not really going to get anything else. Meanwhile, Spanshu, very low. It's going to get taken down. Means no resurrection available. There is still Crupture. Crupture can still make a winning play. This is the plant. And right now, never has yeah, seen exactly what he needs to see, but uh, chances are he needs to push in. And that's no, a really rough moment. Standing. Exactly, and for B Nitro makes it really easy. So, Crapture, final person, that's half all. Has to clutch one or three. Oh, doesn't get that one. Happy Golba is gonna take that away. Currently, it is eight to zero. The credits is not looking very good on the side of Glen Waverly. Glen Waverly right now, they can go for a quasi buy right here. You can see the uh, bullpup right here. Meanwhile, <laughs> the rest of the side of HPSC is just having a shooting gallery right here. They have the big boy Odin and they want to make another claim. Like, it's so hard to defend this, right? They are not, they're not sticking with a normal play. They are just going to keep on running this one down. Oh, and they are going to come out first. They are going to get that first one, but it is instantly traded. Murky gets a double bench quickly, revives. Nice. Lots of kills already. There is going to be Empress. High shot. Gets the first one. Knows how to dismiss. Oh, he sees everything. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be another one, but the Sage War is going to be the one to bring it back. High shot. High shot is going to run for... No, high shot doesn't want to front tail. Says there's more kills. I need to get a happy go. is going to get the two from behind. And now it's just going to be Porota. And Porota is hiding right here. Oh, my goodness. He's right behind the plant. <laughs> and the rest of HPSC says, well, goodbye. We are just going to camp out here. Make some noise. Oh, they're going to go to B right here. That is just the biggest kick in the face. <gasps> oh, you're kidding me. They are going to go back and they're going to reroute into A. They are rerouting. Pedrota, he doesn't know this. All right, slowly. Oh, man. 30 seconds left. All right, they're going to go for the one final attempt to clutch this. Perota, he should see that the doors hasn't come down from Garage. Which should spell that this potentially should be the A. All right, it's going to slowly start to walk. And this is the final play here. No more Leer. They are going to go for a body check. Ten trade. Nothing trade. All right, here we go. And now it's just going to be Parota And Parota. It's going to go for the full play. One final chance to make a difference. One on two. Parota hears this. Can he find it? He's a lot of things from Hotshot. And Hotshot gets taken down first. But manager is going to claim that price. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 9 to 0. The credits, definitely not looking good on the side of eviction notice. HPSC though, 13 kills on triple seven, 10 kills on Forbid Nature, 9 on High Shot. I mean, if they pop off one more round, Triple Seven is just gonna get another ult popped off. Meanwhile, Scrapcha holding onto that ult dearly with Porota, not getting the utilization. The last one was starting to look good. They invested heavily, but they got nothing for it. And now, one more time, they are just gonna get themselves ready. Look at this! Verki, he wants this. He wants to get something. And right now, Hotshot comes in first. Verki staying here, waiting for the wall. Potentially can get something. Shooting in blind. 
Doesn't get anything right here. And high shot does spot his target first at heaven. Ricky does get one. Oh, Krupcha does get it. That is huge, Krupcha. Nice old. And potentially this is the first time that you're going to get it. But Triple Seven gets a double. Does not get the rest. All right. It is finally one back onto Glen Waverly. It is nine to one. Eight rounds deficit. Two rounds left until the switch. Can they make a nine to three? That is the question. If they can make a 9 to 3, this will make it a lot more easier for them. Uh, but obviously, on the, <laughs> on the side of HPSC, they have a lot more to work with. They are full committed, they are full buying into this, and they are ready to take the round. Now, obviously, if they go to 11 to 1, it is going to be really rough. Winning the pistol, if they are successful, it's going to be one sided show. Here we go. All right, Banshee instantly not going to fall for it, but this is going to be the activation. They see it. Triple Seven is walking forward. It's going to quickly get the reset. Meanwhile, Crusher is here. Has to deal with a lot. They know exactly where he is, but... Oh, looking at the wrong place, and all of a sudden, Verki, one man with a judge, sees that in front of him. Oh, <laughs> he's going to get the spy carrier. Okay, not too bad, but High Shot is hot on his trails. Verki. On a one-to-one -one duel here. Oh boy, can he do it? Oh, he is gonna get one. All right, that's nice. Vandal in hand. And he's gonna get challenged by high shot and high shot is gonna instantly dissemble that. And now this is gonna be 10 to one. Last round in the half. This is such a rough moment. HPSC is absolutely dominating, showing that they are ready to take this round. Last one. Can they make it 10 to 2? It is going to be Glen Waverly. Otherwise, it is going to be 11 to 1 with a very heavy contesting onto the pistol. It is still doable. You, it is just very rough to do, uh, but it's still doable nonetheless. Here we go. Triple Seven instantly leading the pack. And looking at this, Verki instantly goes forward, spots a whole bunch, doesn't even get it. Empress comes out. Dismisses and everyone on this side is pretty much just gone. Crouch is gonna walk in. Does get one. Big Aries in hand. It's a lot of stopping power. Crouch is gonna get the second. Oh, they are gonna try to win this. It all depends on how Crouch works. Crouch is gonna get taken down. And High Shot is gonna get the reset as well. Onto to the dismiss. And this is gonna be really rough for Nivik to push. Nivik is gonna get one, however. But remember, the objective is ticking, and this is a massive leer. Which means right now he needs to go for the scan. Alright. He is gonna get tagged, and look at that high shot with that precision warbang from below. The bullets fly straight into his faces, and that's gonna be 11 to 1. Potentially, two away from the win. Glenn Waverly. If Glenn Waverly. It's going to fall in the round of pistol. We are pretty much just going to guarantee and sign off on Hampton Park Secondary College on their successful attack here. Here we go. Can they do it? This is the stack. They are ready. They're going to take you. that B. And right now, the only thing they need to get by is obviously 777. 777's jet has just proved to be so much of a problem to deal with. With Look at that impressive 17 kills it is absolutely insane to be seeing this kind of performance and here we go one sheriff ready sees one oh my god one dig to the head oh so close doesn't get the lineup but we know that this is going to be the play and already you see forbidden nature coming from behind they are getting all the information meanwhile happy Goba is going to be knifing and getting all the objectives out of the way Manager here wants to get the trade, does get the first one, very low, gets a few more things here, and Forbidden Nature is there healing. Happy Goba and Hush both taking down, Manager is still surviving on 5 health, it gets one more, oh, oh no, no, Manager is gonna clutch, that is unbelievable, unbelievable, look at, oh my god, and he is just gonna quickly make sure that he's gonna get all the guns here, he's gonna be him a little and do a little dance, and of course, he is just gonna wait until this is gonna go to the end, and... Gentlemen, 
I, I would laugh if he missed it. I would laugh, but he's Never too good for that. All right. All right. All right, sir. Please. <laughs> Match point. <laughs> nice. That's that's exactly the right bow you should be doing, right? You're going to bow right after out of the stage. After you did your finale and BM, you say, okay, it is time. I've showed off enough. Let me just humble myself. Take myself out of the game as well. Okay. Right now, it is 12 to 1. Match point. 11 match points. Oh, Glenn Waverly. Show me you can make a clutch. They are putting this massive, mad gamble. Oh my god, and Forbidden Nature is already here. They are already here. <laughs> but Triple Seven is going to get taken down here. They are going to get a few more kills. Oh boy. One enemy remaining. It's just going to be one more. It's Happy Goba. I didn't even get to catch the final action. I was just having a laugh. <laughs> And that's gonna be it. Oh, he's trying. But attackers, they are finally gonna get one. I've been told that I actually got the game, the team names wrong. If that's the case, HS, HPSC, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Okay. 10 more to go. We will fix this. Definitely. So, right now, Glenn Waverly. After all that, 10 rounds, they I knew something was wrong. But uh, yeah, I couldn't put my hand on it. So I do apologize on behalf of our game team. So right now, it is 12 to 2. I'm assuming Glenn Waverly is the ones that's currently on their defense. They're ready to play. Starting to look a lot better. Happy go about meanwhile. It's going to hear all this. Doesn't get a kill though. Oh, but high shot with that judge is going to send them to the Shadow Realm. And... It's gonna go for the try. Oh, the spike gets dropped right in front. That is disastrous. High shot once more. High shot doesn't get it. And now it's just gonna be forbid nature. Forbid nature. One on two. After high shot carrying like a boss. And look at that. The kill gap is starting to turn a little bit. Can they do it? One bucky shot. I mean, you got plenty of options here. Alright. Let's go. Gonna gleefully get this. And they're gonna welcome them. Oh no! One bucket to the the bike and uh, for being nature. Oh no! That is not the thing you wanted to. I'm out of stuff. Oh, that is the ultimate ultimate dream of a bucket right there. So that is gonna successfully make this 13 to two. A massive play and a clutch on the side of Glenn Waverly. So Glenn Waverly, they are going to get this one through. And knocking HPSC onto the losing streak here. Oh, wow. What a play. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a 13-2 victory on the side of Glenn Waverly. So Glenn Waverly, looking absolutely superior, is going to take this one by storm. I do apologize that we didn't get the names correct. But this is what we're talking about. We're here to enjoy ourselves. We don't care about names, right? Who cares about names? We're here to enjoy ourselves and make a massive showing and play. So a massive congratulations to Glen Waverly Secondary College, aka the eviction notice. Uh, they have outperformed on the side of Hampton Park Secondary College. The MVP, the MVP right here is going to be going to triple seven. And triple seven, it was very close because high shot started to perform right after with that massive clutch. But triple seven was the one to start this really easily. Plenty of great clutches, although in the end started to BM a bit too much, but was able to show off and make this into a one-sided show in the beginning. Did all the things right. Everything that the jet he did use was on point. Right, the jet. As soon as, you know, the ult was ready, instantly did not the gun round on the third round. And then on the fourth, they snowballed and into the fifth, into the sixth. And triple seven, that was a massive score. Seven first bloods. That is huge compared to the rest of the other teams, especially in a high shot. They try to uh, manage to clutch a few back. Verki, um, that side didn't get the defenses right. And obviously, it's really hard on a map like Ascent where you have to guess between A or B stack. Which means that they're going to go back and they're going to relook at this. It means that they didn't have enough cover and they were outpicked and outcounted with their agent. Um, and not getting the correct defenses in um, on the side. So, not too bad coming in from Hampton Park Secondary College. Massive GG to you guys. But ultimately, this is going to be a victory for the Glen Waverley Secondary College. So... 
that is gonna do it for us we will be back very soon to bring you the final map of tonight it is going to be the 7 p.m session which will be 37 right now but we'll be back very soon it is going to be between de la salle college recipe heights on the defense against sydney secondary college blackwater bay campus aka asian invasion on the attack it is going to be the tops uh the top seeded team versus the last one so massive massive game please don't go anywhere please follow us at twitch.tv forward slash meta hsc and meta hsc 2 for all the latest and we will see you very very soon